Hi everybody, this is Bonnie, and today I want to just show you how I got this effect from um, with the tree, how I got the different colors on there. And there's several different ways and a lot of cool things you can do with this um, to make it look fallish. But for this one here, I'm going to show you how I did it. I used markers. So I just took a piece of Whisper White. And this is from the Lovely as a Tree stamp set that Stampin' Up! sells. And this is like a little fall tree. Um, I've got a, several different colors here. First thing I'm going to do is take um, Soft Suede and I just um, inked the bottom half of my tree trunk. I'm hoping I'm getting all this because it's a little farther away than normal. <laughs> and then I take the yellow and I'm using the brush end of the markers. Now for the yellow, I kind of do all over. I mean, not perfectly, but most of it is yellow. And you always want to start with your lighter colors first so that it don't ruin the tip of your marker. That's the only reason why. And then I am going to use um, tangerine orange. And for the orange, I'm going to kind of just splat it here and there. No, no particular place. It's really kind of easy to get this effect. And then I'm going to do old olive. And maybe a little less on the green because you want it to look like the leaves are changing. And then I got Rich Razzleberry, which is like a plum color. And I'm going to throw that in here, here and there. And no two that you do will ever be the same because unless you can exactly remember where you put every piece of color on here. So, and then if you want, you can huff on it, but it looks still pretty wet, but I'm going to huff on it. And then I'm going to stamp, apply a little pressure, and pick up. Now, I've got a lot of white left in this one, and it's probably because the stamp was so far away from me that I didn't um, uh, get it close enough. But here's some other ones up close that I've done. So, but this, and any one is not the same. Now I'm going to show you another way, let me wipe this off, that you can achieve another look. Just wipe it off quick. And I'm going to color it again. I'm going to get it a little closer to me this time. So maybe you can, maybe I can see what I'm doing. I'm sorry if my head is in the video <laughs> or if the tree is cut off the video. I really like the rich razzleberry and the and the card. Now you could stamp it again or you could take it and you could spritz it. There's a couple little spritz, not too much. Ooh, that one might have been a little too much there. But if you spritz it lightly enough and then you stamp it on the card, it'll give it like a water look. Now, it looks awful right now, <laughs> but when that dries, let me see if I zap it dry quick with the heat and gun. Isn't that cool? I really like the water 
look that it gives the cards also. And this is one that I kind of did with the water looks and I double stamped it. So that came out really cool. And I want to show you another card that I did. I did this one, which is really cool with the markers. And I'll just show you how I kind of did that one quick. I wipe off the stamp from all the water. Again, I just colored the tree. This is early, or no, this is soft suede. And then I took Daffodil Delight kind of colored the whole thing with Daffodil Delight. <laughs> and then the Tangerine Tango. Then some our Now, to get this effect, first thing you want to do, and I always did it on another piece of paper, that's why I have so many, stamp it once on um, a regular piece of paper, then take it and stamp it again right there to get a lighter effect. And then what you would do for the next round is you would ink it up again. And again, you would stamp off the paper. And then the next time, just overlap it just a little bit. So it looks like that. And then you could do it again. And then that's how I did it. I did it again. I did it like four times in the back lightly like that. And then I took one time and stamped it very vibrantly on the front to make it stand out. And I just thought this was a cute, really fall card. And then I just stamped, um, there's a little leaf set that comes with this tree, trendy tree set. And I just took the leaf and um, used Versamark and clear embossing powder and stamped all over this piece. And I did the same thing on the back piece to give it um, some looks. And I just used some of the colors. Um, this is Old Olive, this is Rich Razzleberry, and, uh, pumpkin pie so or yeah pumpkin pie but um those were the colors that i used and um i just hope you enjoyed it and really uh you know want to give it a try another thing i did before we go is i also did it with chalk which came out really cool um and blended it I did another card, it'll probably be at the end of the video, I'll show you the card I did with this on chalk. And uh, that one is a lot better. <laughs> this one was my first try. But anyways, um, have fun, play around with it, use some water, use markers, use chalk. We even did it with crayons, so um, the crayon effect was kind of cool too. And uh, give it a try. Thanks for stopping by, bye-bye.